All right, we're back with some more gameplay. We're up against Vayne Top, and the Vayne Top is running Flash Ghost, which makes this lane practically unplayable for us. But we'll try to see if we can snipe a few kills here and there. Not sure I'm getting pinged, but I don't think I care. Anyway, um, let's just try not to die, I guess. It's the most we can do. I'll honestly take that. Ghost for ghost. A bunch of health pots, which let me survive, I guess. I was gonna say that, but <laughs> she's been quite aggressive, so. Uh, yeah, this one's not gonna be too playable. Got that right, there is. Except we can't. Nothing much to really commentate, just we're here to survive. They get that kill there. Oof, unfortunate. Take that. Hmm. Kindred fine. I don't think I can get there in time, so yeah. If we can get a hook, we can get a kill. She's just dead <laughs> to the stacks. Nice. Everyone has a choice. Die. Uh. Well, we tried. The wave is completely screwed, but on the bright side, we got enough gold for Tabby, so that's nice. We didn't have our Q up, so we couldn't land. If I landed that Q, I might have been able to put up a closer fight, but, like, I didn't have my hook to pull her out of that, you know, damage absorption thing, so it was just lost when she stepped in. I should have just left after I killed the vein because we knew that the Bellwith was here, right? Kill the king, change the world. Kill the god okay, king, let's get a ward out. Vayne has her flash still up, so it's going to be hard to kill her again with some... Summoner spell cheese. I'll take that, that's a really good trade for us. We basically just have health here. Because we have like Moose Speed advantage due to play skill camps, we might be able to pick her up with a hook here and there. But it has to be like a bit closer to our side of the lane, because otherwise we're just not going to be in range. That's a ward down. She ain't got no vision or on top, which should make it a bit easier for us to gank kill her. She's just playing the slowish really hard. Come on! Let's chill. She's gonna get a little sick soon. Goes down. Shut 
I'll take that. Alright, that's both sums down. We messed up our like our hook there, which made the kill quite hard to get. But to be real, like, um, what's the, oh, let's kill him. Let's get him. Yo. Okay. We're just gonna not kill him there. <sighs> not a fun match. I'll just, just point that out straight off the bat. Is anybody actually winning on our team? Kinda, the issue is just with, I guess, this rumble and the jungle. Because the Bellwith has a bunch of kills by now, and Kindred's quite behind. We need to get our kills, because if we get, we don't, she's just going to be like useless the whole match. She has her Zerker, so it'll be hard to get hooks now. Why make sure she doesn't get like the last, like last W thing on me? I should be able to do well. Never mind. I'll take that. Oh, she didn't even go for that. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, she actually just let me live there. Nice. Nice. <laughs> I don't know why she didn't go for that. She would have probably just straight up like killed me in two auto attacks. Let's get some healing from the Grump. She's staying. Is she leaving? This Rabo is going to keep us sustaining for a while. So I'm just going to stay in lane. They both just saw him, so this is a lot more impossible. Yeah, they're here again. Okay, we can't go for this. Their whole top size here. I thought top size. Practically their whole team, actually. Aside from the Callisto. And, you know, ADCs don't run, do they? Okay, this game rough. Oh my god, that's so huge. Come on, kill her. Nice. Alright, we can go for the rest of them. Run them down. I'm just gonna go farm. I don't have any mana for this fight. Better off for me to just set up my wave than chase when I can't chase. Oh, we just wiped them all out. Oh, that's nasty. Nice, nice, nice. Oof. That Kindred art was really huge. That was really huge. I obviously can't stay and push because I um, don't have the mana. And the Vayne's just going to come back and kill me instantly. Ugh. Let's go for a bunch of stats here. I'm not going to go for um, Iron Spike Whip just yet. Mostly because, like, if I'm going to get my hands on the vein. I want to just, you know, kill her at that second. And the more AD is going to help me do that. Whereas going for, like, the spike whip means I'll be, like, stationary. Which lets her, you know, outmaneuver me, I guess. Alright, let's try to brute force this. Brute, brute force this push in. Never mind. She's pushing into us, so we can just accept the crash in. Okay. Get lost our attack on us. Seriously. Oh, 
Oof, that was messed up. We ran out of like monitor space there almost. Oof. Good. She almost outplayed us, because if we let her dash into the bush and we didn't predict that, she would have just straight up kill us. But your boy Roku has got that prediction game on point. When it comes to I guess top laners only. <laughs> I really wanted that Noxium banner, but on the other hand, I don't like Clash, so <laughs> I didn't play in the tournament. <laughs> I mean, the, the Clash, just that. It's not a. I guess it's kind of a tournament, but not really. Um, we're quite fed, which is good. Can get a lot of plays off with the team. Now, we're not going to be able to snowball too hard unless the vein keeps inting us, which is like probably not a like guaranteed thing. I mean, definitely not. She's not going to end this, is she? Okay, she just straight up into there. Oof. Man, this is one of the few occasions where that extra Strider Breaker move speed is actually useful. I just queued the wave to get that lead on the minions, which gave me the move speed basically, like... As long as the bleed was ticking. It's like eight seconds. Nice, and we stomped them there again. Good. We put down the rumble. We're putting down the bellweth more and more. This one's going pretty well for us. That not gonna. What? I think I. Oh yeah. You can't get the gold in this push. I think you gotta be in this one. Yeah, we just got unlucky there. Oh well. They can't stop this war, no matter how hard they fight. Got that right, Darius. She might just get one here. Actually, nothing. Nice. She gets no plates. Oof. Perfect. Please get away. Please get away. Mr. President, get down. I am not wasting my ultimate there. Great work. He actually just hit her with that one line. <laughs> nice. Let's get this turret. Hmm. Who's coming here? Kill us with one attack. It's quite tough to one them because the Callista can just eat the Gragas if I get stacks on. Okay, the Callista can eat the Galio if I get stacks on him. Please help me. Oh no. We didn't play that too cleanly, but man, they have so much health. Couldn't pop off. It really doesn't seem like we have a lot of... Oh, we actually don't have an AD. We actually don't have an ADC. We have Pike, like, Nautilus. That kind of escaped me a bit. Which is playing AP. Okay. That kind of just limits the amount of things we can go for because we fundamentally don't have damage on our team. Alright, I have to just temper the way I... Expect this game to play out. Got one kill on the Callista at least, but one for one is not good. And also the team also into there with me.
Let's push this quickly. Okay, join the team. Can't get that rip. I'm gonna grab the grump. Second enough, I can't have enough money for the Sterex. Is that gonna happen here or can I recall? I'm just preparing to go in once they're nice to got a pick. Oh, I was, I was gonna ult that, but I doubt it matters because they all got away. He's got auto combat move speed, I can't reach that. Come on, Pike. Nice. Let's eat him up. Gobble, gobble. That's Derek soon, which is good. Why did they get all that gold? I'm gonna go help off. Can you console this? That's good. Alright. I'm gonna top. Just straight up run there to get the wave. Pushed in. I'm not gonna go through because it gives a lot of room for the vein to get a, a like a stun on me and because she has bork and because her champion just counters mine she i'm pretty sure she just killed me 1v1 if she gets like a good pin them off okay let's get another wave and then recall Pretty good so far. Nothing too crazy. We're we're basically just winning, but we have to play around like with our damage properly. Because as it stands, like they have a lot of damage, whereas we don't really have that much, you know. We have to basically just rely on them being a bit disorganized and stuff like that. Let's get more armor. Witness the end of an empire. Gonna push out bot lane here. They 100% get that kill. That's both their subs gone. Yeah, this is so risky. Like, they went in too deep for that. Yeah, we're getting destroyed up there. Yeah, they went in way too deep. When they couldn't catch the vein initially, that was it. They, sh they should not have chased. I gotta get there so like I can maybe help stop the Baron. I'm on my way. I'm on my way. Which is an R, which makes things way more difficult than it should be. They did it so quickly. Yeah. Uh, that was just a massive throw there. Like, they got such a good engage on us and they could just blast us with their ultimates with like a rumble lawyer and stuff like that. I'll upgrade this to the null mantle and go for the, the mass plate. The issue with having like a non-consistent source of damage is just like this exactly. Right? It's like we can't really play fights normally, like a front to back. And because they have a vein, I can't side lane because I just don't win. So, this is a really messed up um, situation for us. To even like try to play. We have to essentially try to pick kills when they're separated. That's what we're really good at with Pike and stuff. They can just, you know, um, kill the rest of them. But a normal 5v5 is not what we're good at. Yeah. 
He just one shot her. Nice. Good. They're separated. They're going for it, it's fine. I'll go with a twitch. I was thinking about recalling to get the you know to protect the side lane, but when she got on the turret it was already too late. Like she kills us so fast to the point even if I like go back, I don't get there in time to like help save it. Catch the Callista here. Should I? Oh. Nice. By the way, Darius W gives him enough auto range to attack through some walls. Same with Q, same with R. So we're stuck in such a situation, it's it can be quite useful. Bro, how many are they? Why does Baron buff those? <laughs> it's not a little broken. <laughs> They're synchronized. All right, we gotta try to kill this Vanius up. Go. So, took us a while. Got a job done though. I'm not even gonna lie. I got lost for like. <laughs> Like the in, it, the entire beginning of the fight, I just got lost. So I went into like the Kindred Ultimate. And I was like, hey, "What's going on?" Then I found the kill. Good. Pike lives. The good ending. Let's get um. Do we have any camps around here? Oop. Let's kill her. Let's kill her. Nice. That's pretty good. Um, tank item wise, I think we need like Pike's already got Flores and Heart, so we can't. I don't really get much from like the active of it. I'm gonna go DMP here. Let's see focus. I might also get like a randoms or something on top of it, double up on it. Just sit on this Negatron cloak until like I can upgrade it to like a force of nature. I have to recall? Probably, yeah. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Gods. Who else? Yep. Basically. <laughs> we crashed into her like a truck. This is not good. Get this wave and then try to go for a flank if this like there should be this engine by now. Okay. These petty tyrants are weak. I am not. Let's get this T2. Into the action. I don't have R actually. I don't have R. I don't have R. I don't have R. Good enough. We overstayed. Some of us died. Good enough. No grump. Okay. It's in a four. I don't, not really, is it? Yeah. Need a bit more gold. Grab this, grab the waves here, then go for this. Um, we should get some vision out there, probably. 
would be a good idea. Next one. See ya. Like, I have to outplay her so hard just because her champ's just better than mine. This war is just beginning. Are we safe? Yep. Recall time. Was he just sitting there waiting for me? It's like, walk up. Alright, I gotta stop silating. It's a waste of my summoner spells. They're much more useful playing with a team. The thing is, we have so many setup that I don't necessarily have to have some... Okay. We just win this, right? Which can just destroy them. Eat, eat. Suck. Suck. Nice. Yeah, nice. Okay. Let's just end the game. Well, that's basically it for this match. Um, we're trying to pull off some tomfoolery. <laughs> uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out. All right, everybody. So we're back to some more gameplay. We're up against Orn Top, running Woking Darius because I wanna hear that ultimate kill sound. I hope that's not me jinxing it, but <laughs> yeah. Nice little leash here. Well, she just one-shot that. Thank God that smite was on point, because otherwise we would have taken it. <laughs> and believe me, that happens more often than you think it does, even at these kinds of ranks. Okay. Let's grab all these minions. Can't get me. Can't get me. I have my orders. Nice. Uh, if I dodged that W, I could have just killed him. They will oh well. Yeah. If we're going to kill him with Flash there, I have to do it at that moment before his health pot started ticking up. <clears throat> okay. Get a crash in. Let's go for a cheater. The perfect time and location for it, really. I was got 500, which lets us get a long sword and a refill pot. So that's great. Let's get here ASAP. Catch this wave. Stop it from crashing into our turret. The thing with cheater is that you do lose two, three minions, but the wave control thing you do after you come back to lane is really important to make up for that loss in CS. Okay. This isn't going to crash into our turret, which basically lets us fight for it. Gotta be quick, though, it's not a cannon, so we can just destroy a little bit in two seconds. Seriously? Whatever. I'm just gonna go for the freeze. Did I mention that alcoves are a horrifying addition to the game? Because they are. <laughs> okay. Freeze is kinda good. Hope I thinned it like just right. Is there too much? <clears throat>
We just walked him down. <laughs> auto by auto. Ooh. Gotta love that superior Darius on attack range. <clears throat> yeah, you better just let that crash. You better let that crash, bro. If you know what's good for you. Yeah. Strength above all. If the Wukong like Oh, I just spilled tea on my headset. <laughs> what do Well, um we might have to dip into our YouTube funds to get a new one, but I didn't spill tea on it, but I spelled spill on the little audio controller thing it has on the cable. Anyway, whatever. Um, Wukong could have just flashed on top of me there to get more attacks off. I think that way he could have been closer to killing me. But, eh. Shoulda, woulda, coulda, huh? Let's permafreeze this bad boy. This guy ain't never seen a bit of CS in his life again. He got that? Okay. Okay, that's appropriately thinned. Gotta do it a bit more because of this wave, but I think then we're done. No mistakes. Okay, a little push up a bit while thinning. Good. Okay, this is perfect. We can keep this for basically as long as we want. I have my orders. <clears throat> nice. I could have just gone for that kill there. If I land the hook. Oh, whoa. Pull back a bit. Oh, so what that one minion died to? Because there's no like allied minions left, and I didn't get the CS. Wukong doesn't have a little 6 yet, so we should be good to just... Surviving. Also, I don't have a ward. Eep. We kind of start hiccuping with our auto attacks there. I hate it when that happens. Just like I should just let that auto attack go through and then do the W ult, right? That would have been the best. But I want to then W ult and run away. Then yeah, <laughs> this is me being indecisive. Oh well. Still pushing it close so I can keep the freeze again. <clears throat> Ramble vest. He'd be much better off with like Tobby's or like Warden's Mail. It's reducing my damage by a lot more. Because that like that grievous wound isn't gonna do anything, is it? Thirty-two. Okay. Never <clears throat> That's bad. Go for it. My destination is clear. Gotta keep it a bit closer to the center here. 
by queuing in my Cinder a little bit too much. One versus cooldowns, huh? He legit can just farm every single one. Because <laughs> he just has no cooldowns in his abilities. What? Gotta get close enough to do a W. Oh my god, he actually just one shot us there. I did not expect that. Don't want Tavis though. So I'll go for like the phage actually. Just for the healing in the middle of the fights. I should probably just go Sheen, but I don't want to sell anything. Everything's too useful. But that healing's actually gonna be quite clutch. But man, he actually just one-shot us there. Like Jesus. Yeah, that's pretty gross. I should just flash it at the end there. Just going for a WQ. Ult. That Q would also go, like let me stay in the fight a bit longer. We'll get him down here. Pretty evenish. Our side's kind of winning. Wukong was really messed up early on, but now he's back, which sucks. Mid's doing great. Okay. We're doing pretty well going into like the, you know, later portions of the lane phase. Not as good enough as we'd want to, but it's not bad. If I can get a stack of bleed on him, this is going to heal me a lot because of the phage. Sucks. The Wong Kong just killed us like that. I think I make maybe like one shot the Wukong as he got on me. And I think with like that fight was if I try to get away, they they get on top of me anyway, so I gotta waste my sums. Let's go for the Sheen. Lane's kinda of getting out of control. Dying twice like that is pretty bad. We still are, are holding on to both of our sums though, so we're like, not completely out. We still have a way in by killing him and all of them, basically. Um, she's probably gonna die here, but it's still a good fight nonetheless. Oh, that's pretty good kiting. This might be super greedy, but I'm going to go for it anyway. Carve a path. Never retreat. We're fine. They wanted to collapse on me. I would have had to stay up here so that my bolt could be in range to help out. My destination Let's is keep the way around here. Close enough for backup. We layered our CC pretty perfectly there, honestly. Great job to be a Moomoo, good job to be a Shawnee. Okay, 
get our Triforce, which is like, you know, like a finally we get it. There's the monkey. Let's think here. Do we actually want, like, Tabis here? This is quite a, like, a messed up team to try to buy boots against. They got a lot of weird movement, a lot of weird CC. They got, like, they got crowd control, but I've kind of built, like, my runes against that, so I didn't really need it. Hmm. I might have to pull out the Berserkers for this one. We'll see, we'll see, we'll see. Let's just push this and get a turret. Orange mid. Quickly, quickly. I mess that all attack up. Orange is going back in. So I can keep pushing. That has to be a tilter. That has to be a tilter. Yeah, they're coming up here, so I'm gonna chill and get the Grump first. Because um, of this, right? If I go for the turret. Might seem kind of nonsensical, but I got both camps and I stopped Orn from being able to collect all the minions I pushed into the turret. So it's like a net W for us. <clears throat> With overwhelming <laughs> Still can't walk up because, um,. Well, it was a different reason before, but now it's because, you know, their team's out on the loose. Could be a very easy target for him. Let's get our stair axe here. I might just get the Berserkers to make up for the attack speed that I'm missing from my runes. Because I usually build, like, Legend Alacrity. Don't have that. Let's just keep going. I'll go towards here. If we need help with mid, I'll just brute force it down. Or help brute force it down, I suppose. We should be able to take it in like seconds. Guess we're not going for it, okay. In hindsight, that would have been a pretty dumb decision. But, like, I don't know. Like, if we can catch the Wukong and get him to ult, like, just me, and we stop him from getting on the cluster, we just kill him there. Then the Orn could maybe help out. I don't know. Yeah. It was a dumb decision to just brute force it when they're, like, in position to ult the whole team there. The whole team, but just everyone was there. If Wukong is fighting me there, I just kill him and everyone there. So it was the only good decision there was just just instant disengage. See if we can find out what monkey's up to. My destination is clear. Hmm. An awkward spot for sure. We're trying to go for like good all-ins because we have the means to, but it's just hard to pick them out. 
We should also not get caught here. They're alone. I'm gonna push this out. As usual. Alright, now I gotta be real quick. I can take this turret real quickly. Okay, queue up the Sheena. We're gonna keep going, we're gonna keep going to make it actually worth. Another one. That was actually such a killer split push right there. Because we not only got a turret, two turrets, inhib, and two kills. Like that, that's like game winning right there. I mean, if I helped out in that fight there, that would also be kind of game winning, but still, you know. That was pretty nuts. I'm gonna keep my mana just in case we need to cast my abilities against enemy champions. That was nasty. Alright. Um What item are we getting actually? Um good question. I just say um so much, it's, it's just annoying me, actually. First gotta get some MR. Then let's get chain vest. Sell that. Um go for the long sword, because we're gonna we're really fed right now, we should just be stomping fights. Pretty good setup. The attack speed gonna be like super huge because if you guys saw, like at some point, I'm just like like whacking him down to the level I need. Hooker combos, cooker everything. I gotta go help him. I'd love to stay and take every CS, but actually they got it. All right, cool. That was whoa, <laughs> what? <laughs> you actually followed them all the way around. I guess on the map. He like his movement like curved as he was like flashed onto the uh, China. Get this quickly. Bam bam. Bam bam. Don't have summoner spells now though. We shouldn't fight. Like, it's really easy for him to get, like, a messed up engage on us. We should just keep the minions bare and buff. To make it harder for him to, uh, clear them. Thing is, if they fight us 2v3 with the Ornn plus them, we actually win. Since they're all melee, it basically puts me in, like, the perfect position to just fight all of them. Hello. Nice attempt. Can we push like multiple ways down at once? Oh, that was a good ult. Didn't matter. Whoa. Yeah, that was such a messed up fight. That was a horrifyingly terrible fight. Yeah, I'm just gonna play split. We can't play team fight. Team fights don't work for us. I have to play split. Like at that point, it's like, because I don't have the summon to just burn, I can't quite be too active in terms of carrying it. So, um, I think we should split the team up like this. Um, 
I'll go down here. They go for this. Like a 4-1 situation. We actually have a really good wave here that's pushing in, but if we don't actually make, like, use of that, it's just extra gold for them. So we have to, like, you know, get some objectives. Chop, chop. Gonna grab the Gromp for the extra level, then crash to get these waves, get level 16, and I should be quite strong with my sums. Nothing happens, I recall giving this dance. We're good. Kind of a bit too aggressive there when I'm not in position to apply pressure. So they ought to chill. Okay, I'm getting in range of their turrets and stuff. I'll start applying pressure, then they can get this turret. Let's go for a flank here. Got the Wukong. I have my orders. Did I just rank my W? Oh my god, that's so troll. That's horrifyingly troll. That actually just destroys a lot. Oh, it doesn't destroy that much. It's, um, yeah. I do one K on my R. Okay, I can work with that. I gotta like seriously farm up though. That's such a horrifying mistake. Ugh. Let's recall and get our death stance. Can't believe this. It doesn't change too much, but it might change just enough to like mess up some of our team fighting. Never rich. So I don't know. Um, let's just keep the waves pushed, I suppose. That's a bit messed up. Seriously? Where were- <laughs> dude, what happened to the rest of them in there? Okay, I guess we just can't win team fights because the rest of the team is just completely weak. Like, I don't know what's happening, but whenever we get into a fight, there's just nothing from the rest of the team. Like, no damage, nothing. Which really makes this a lot harder than it should be. Um, let me think. I think DMP is good here. Just get that more move speed in. Extra move speed. DMP, Force of Nature, then we're good to go, I think. Also, man, if I had that extra ult damage, actually nothing would have changed. <laughs> yeah, like literally nothing would change if I had the ult damage. My destination is clear. Let's get in there quick. I'd love to grab all these minions, get close to my level 13, but it's not a luxury you can afford to have. Good. Okay, we get it. Let's hope they get out. Push out mid. Good. Alright, this is messed up. Can I even get into this fight?
Come on. Come on. I messed that up so badly. I messed that up so badly with the Orn there. I thought my auto attack was fast enough because of the Zerkers. Uh, I messed it up. I messed it up. How could I? I mean, to be fair, we did single-handedly win the fight for the team and practically killed everyone. <laughs> so maybe there isn't a lot to complain about. We did just got like a seriously good victory for the team there. Actually, no. Like, I'll I'll change my feelings about the fight because despite us messing up the last kill, we did quite well. That flank was really killer. We got direct access to them. That extra old damage actually helped a lot. Like one shot of that Wukong there. Oof. I will not rest. How much is it? One thousand, two fifth, two I mean two five. Three hundred and seven five. This is one point three K. We got how much from Conquer? 2.6, 30, 45, how much from this? 29, 14. So, practically like 1380, 90 damage once everything's stacked up. I'll count it as 1350 then instead of 1400. What's wrong with yes? All right, we actually won that. Good fight, team. Good job, team. Let's kill this fat boy. Come here, fat boy. See ya. I actually did one point six thousand, so my math was completely off. Where do we get that extra hundred? Whatever. That was the last stand. Oh. All right, that's pretty much it. I'll see you guys in the next one. Great game. Peace out. All right, we're playing as Karma Top. Not the best matchup to get fed out of. It's quite hard to get kills against her because if she plays it smart, she can basically just poke you infinitely, right? Karma's early is a little bit weaker, like without AP, but once she does get AP, you just get to a point where the only way she has to like necessarily interact with the wave is like just tossing those skill shot cubes, I think they are. Like the one that like just does an AoE explosion, you know? Like she can just constantly spam those to clear the wave to poke you down. No mana issues, it does like 200 damage, so... Like, that's the point in the lane where it becomes impossible to fight her. But if we can get a kill or two before that, then it's actually possible to maybe, like, get even more kills. But, you know... <clears throat> We're gonna make this happen first. They got a lot of, like, just straight-up damage on their team, but not a lot of crowd control. I think position is gonna be really important here, so that we don't, like, become you know, DPS down by multiple people at a time. We actually don't have that much damage on our team currently. Which is a bit worrying. But we'll just have to see how that turns out. A bit loud, actually. There we go. Stay alert. Yeah, I meant this thing. She doesn't have to interact with the wave any other way. Just stand in. God knows how far away and then toss that constantly. I was making a video. <laughs> ah, I, w I was making a thumbnail for a video where I set my E to normal cast just to get the indication. <laughs> uh, it's fine. She actually gave us the flash though, which like she really didn't have to. She could just run away. Some good stuff. Let me just kill her. Are you serious? 
Are you kidding me? Just... Just go away, just go, just leave, just leave. God. What are you doing? You're actually an animal. She legit not only like did nothing to the karma, but actually cost me CS. right uh, it's really impossible to even try to get a kill on her when she's this close to her turret if we can get her to use a bit more of our abilities then maybe we can actually go for a kill though if she's running low on mana Well, I hesitate to say running low on mana, lower than usual. Oh, <sighs> such like a terrible situation because I'm just forced to be pushed up. Essentially, just waiting for the Yi to gank. Then brute force it. There you go. At the ease mid. The worst part is I can't actually go Merc Treads because <laughs> I need Tobies for the activities we're gonna do. Outside of lane, aka fight these guys. Ugh. So I'm gonna go for just boots and save the merc threats for later. Ugh. Got a pretty decent, you know, amount of stats going into this. Unfortunate. Stay alert. Okay, I'm gonna try to go for a kill here, but we gotta do it before she pokes us down because she just can't straight poke us down. Oh, she's bald lane, okay. <laughs> I was like, why do we see her items? She just ran bot. Ain't that interesting. Okay. Just push this up. Nope. Pike has <laughs> Pike just like escaped up here. All right, I was just gonna leave. Still, I don't want to get killed. I guess they're just gonna roam S3 all over the map. Just ult him, I guess. She actually picked the right target, cause Karma did take the aggro. That was pretty good. Like ulting the Karma instead of the. Nice. This is such a mess. He didn't get stunned by that. Got popped anyway, good. We have a lot of okay CC, but the one consistent one that we have is the Vi ultimate and the My Hook in terms of just speed. The other ones are like 
they're slow, but not just slow, but like they're just slow, right? And to have a planet consistently, you have to be so close to the point that that person is just already killing you, right? So like for Bar to land like that stun, he has to be like in his face already. And like now the Yi hasn't scaled, but later on that's gonna be like, you know, most of Bar's health gone because Yi is <laughs> Yi does a very balanced amount of damage. I can't do anything about that. No, we can't. She's on here. Oh, they are, but. Yo, Victor. Victor, yo, Mr. White. He should have put it a bit ahead. Like there. So we got the E as well on it. He kind of put it on top of them. Instead of putting it like where they're gonna go. not good for the chase because you know if you put it where they are then yeah we stun them faster but if you put them where they're gonna go then they have to walk through the entirety of it which means that they are gonna get stunned if they're gonna walk away from us so they have to go on the victor right which means we catch up them faster Let's see, that was a bad word. I'm not gonna get kills against her anyway. So I've kind of given up on you, like, even trying. Like, any karma with half a brain is never gonna die at this point. Like, earlier on, it's possible to kill, like, a decent karma. But once it gets to this point, it's, like, practically impossible. She just has way too many options. You don't. My destination is clear. Never fall. Yeah, I kind of played into it a bit too much, honestly. Ugh. Yeah, once I miss my hook, I should have just been out of there. Could even try to go for the plant here and then farm, but I didn't want to. I was just too greedy for the kill. But yeah, um, I guess that I hope that demonstrates the point of how hopeless it is to fight her. It's like she has a, like a stun that can't miss, right? Her main skill shot, she can make it so that like if it's empowered, it's really hard to just miss it, right? Like, it, normally it's like, yeah, okay, you can kind of dodge it, but if it's, like, empowered, it's impossible to miss. And she has a ton of shield and move speed. It's like, there's no part of her gameplay that she can out, like, she can misplay. Which makes it so that, like, if you let it get here, you're not going to get a kill on her. Now she's back in base, I might be able to just get a plate, though. I love that trick. You really want to do that when you're 100% sure that, you know, they're not going to get any help. Because, like, proxying is the easiest way to get, like, ship just killed. But, um... If the enemy doesn't have any help, literally, then it's really easy to just force them in a situation where... They lose a ton of waves, or they just die, and still lose a ton of waves. <laughs> Sorry. There we 
got a stripe. Is stripe even good here? Because they do have a ton of damage. And the, yeah, the stripe's, not, the stripe's not good here. I'm going to go for Triforce instead and save this for my uh, Sterex. The main reasoning for me is that um, basically this one's going to be all about how fast we can one-shot them, right? And Triforce is going to be the thing that lets me do that. Not a Stripe Breaker. I will not rest. Okay. Let's crash these waves in. I take this pretty quickly. Okay. Now that the some like the Yi and stuff have left mid lane, I have to back up. Being a non-confrontational area, don't want to pick a fight. Not yet, anyway. Okay, these down there. Can kill the Lucian here. No if we catch him. Oh, the mid lane's a disaster. Let's get down there. Um. I might be able to cut, like, cut this guy off. Just like that. Easy. Gonna go crash out top. We already have a lot of people mid lane, so me being there is like not gonna add too much pressure. We're all already there. They're coming at me because I'm the easier kill, so I got to back up. Alright, now we leave. <laughs> yeah, had to do that extra bit of counter jungling. Okay. I think this is the point where we're gonna fight the rest of them, so Tobby's is gonna be quite good. Tobby's, bam. We should be quite meaty at this point. <clears throat> okay, let's walk towards the Herald. We have our ultimate just yet, but once we do get it back up, we should be able to clear up the fight. I actually love this. Oh. He's just dead here. As are the rest of them. See ya. When he first started attacking me, I knew like, yeah, this guy's not gonna kill me. I was a bit surprised how close he got though. Like, got it. Like, I. <laughs> the Master Yi is such an annoying champion. No matter how much damage you think he does, he deals more. You know, it's like. Just crazy. And all of his true damage, too. <laughs> so you can't even, like, build against it. Aside from, like, Frozen Heart or something. <clears throat> I have my Let's get our Sterex. Then some uh, more armor. Death Dance is completely pointless here because um, <clears throat> we're up against a lot of true damage. We're better off just building something against him or building health. Right. Hmm. Gonna go for Frozen Heart, as mentioned. It's just the only way I can go forward with this. Randwins. Randwins might work, actually. Th does he take, like, the, the debuff from the Randwins? Because like, I know that his ultimate, like... Stops him from slow, so he won't. He won't take the slow, but he take the. If he takes the debuff, then like it's gonna be quite huge because that debuff is gonna reduce his damage by like quite a significant bit. 
I might just go randoms, actually. They made it the same price. So the crazy amount of stats you get from Forza Heart is a bit less valuable. Because it's just not crazy anymore, right? It's just... It's still pretty good, but... Like, it's not like a steal as it used to be. Victor just got picked, so that's wonderful. Let's see, he had to use his ult. Bomb, bro. Here. We gotta chill. If Zed's not with them, so we can we actually can just go. Man, if the Zed came with them, this would have been a lot more difficult for us to pull off. Also, that's such a messed up fight to go for. <laughs> yeah, the Bard ult seriously just <laughs> messed up <laughs> the vibe from getting any kills. Great ult, buddy. What are you doing? The ultimate is bad. Yeah, you better give me that Q. Stay alert. Let's see if I can cheese this red buff. Why do you get all the like the techie effects every time he's around? Like, I really dislike the sound of this W effect from Pike because, like, <laughs> it kind of sounds like I'm an alarm. <laughs> it's just traumatic. <clears throat> Illusions that 11 times. Yeesh. Never retreat. Yeah, there he is. You're right. Okay. <clears throat> kind of need to help Victor around the Baron. Okay, let's get the pike. His ult spawning behind where you ulted from really helped us there. Cause I like that just put in my hook range. Yeah, that's good. Oh, are we fighting? This is potentially risky. Okay. I'm just gonna go secure the top turret with this Herald. Cause that seems to be like a good chunk of change for us. What's up, Kuh? Oh my god, that pike! That pike! Ugh. How annoying. I basically just had that one, like, 1v2 in the palm of my hands, and then that pike just shows out of nowhere. I really hate the invisibility in this game. One of the most annoying mechanics ever. Even camouflage, like, what about camouflage? It's the same thing. Camouflage is just for players who don't know how to deal with wards. <laughs> Yo, what? You almost just one tap there. Yeesh. It's just a one shot or like just with the keys and the E's and the auto attack. That's a little cray cray. Get out of there. Get out of there. Nice. Okay, we've got a rand on this, which should be helpful. The reason I'm doing this is one, the gold and two. If I go out there and push right now, we're not going to get anything out of it because we're not pushing mid. Like, it's just a Lux. She can't actually push mid. Which basically means 
that I push, the enemy has free manpower to just send at me and stop me from getting anything. Which is not what you want. You wanna... Did Pike get away? Okay. What's up, bro? How you doing? The team coming in. That randomness didn't really like. <laughs> I activated on the Z to stop like to get less damage from the pop. If you guys know, like his old pop, kind of helped. But then, like I was shielded so much that the dead, the damage didn't even cut into my uh, <laughs> HP bar. The old damage that is. I didn't even notice it. Can Bar just build any item in the game? <laughs> I've seen Bards build like a rapid fire. <laughs> okay, that's him. I don't think we can catch him. He's a bit too fast. Gonna go for a DMP here, just to be a bit faster. Okay. Just clear out top. Push this wave in. All that good stuff. Never Man, he's gonna die here if he keeps chasing. Because <laughs> that Zed's gonna come in and like, one shot him. Actually, he's still here at the wave. I think this guy's a bit trolling. Like this has been kind of like low key trolling the whole time, because <laughs> you kind of just keep split pushing, even when there are like free kills around. All right, that's fun to deal with. Not a fan of them extending the shadow range to like infinity for Zed. <laughs> Let's cut off his camera. Nice. We're just playing for kills at this point. Oh, I'm okay. Had to hook to get the damage out if I was <clears throat> kind of going to lose too much health. I've got to leave because the if we let the Z pop off once, it's going to be one too many times. Ah, uh, that's a bad bounty to give him. Alright, um, that works. He just froze the minions. We can't get anything here. Let's just get the inhib and leave. I'm level 16 too. Y'all better not be dying on me. Let me just leave. <laughs> What what is wrong with them? We can just do the Baron and end the game. Alright. Should have my DMP. So I'll be fast. Okay. This has to be like a monumental oversay. Like, what what do we expect to happen, really? Like, what do we expect to happen? 
Oh, I'm, uh, okay. Jesus. Can we just kill them all here? They're all low health. Ugh. Yeah, we gotta just do the Baron, actually. Got my rank 3 R, so I should be doing a lot of damage. It's cutting through waves of enemies. Oh, the league game it just crashed. This is how it is to try to record games for League of Legends, as usual. Happens really regularly, crashes, freezes. Like, it's really hard to actually make videos for this game without the game just flipping out on you. I've contacted the right many times, they don't fix it. Just how it is. Right. I think we have the move speed from the Dead Nass plate, but it's just like, <laughs> you know, not showing. <clears throat> yeah, there it is. Can it just stack up normally? <laughs> okay, let's go, let's go, let's go. I'm sad for not getting like a one shot, ultimate one shot bonanza moment out. But it is what it is. Whatever. GG. Not the best recording in terms of anything, but just. I'd say we did a great job playing this game, but we were all gapping, so it wasn't like. Whoa, 1v9. Anyway, let's see the next one. Peace out.